Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Vamos a esperar solo un par de minutos, un minuto más, a ver si viene alguien más. Okay. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good night, teacher. Ah, good evening, excuse me. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I think. Okay, perfect. So welcome to the class tonight. It's Wednesday. So as usual, the first thing that we will do is to check about 
the class. Let me just check. Okay, this is the class of tonight. And this is the question for tonight. So you can participate into that one. And uh, we need to do the homework number 11. Tendríamos que estar haciendo ya el deber, la tarea número 11. Ahora, vamos a revisar quizá rapidín quiénes faltan de hacer el midterm test. Casi todos lo hicieron, la verdad. Vamos a ver si hay algún update. Bah, me falta de hacer el midterm test Edwin Antonio Quinteros. A ver si... Yes, ah, ok. Hay que I'm hacer... going to do today. Ok, please. Solamente, la verdad, los demás, pues, very good job, ya lo hicieron y ya están en las tareas de la semana 3. So, very nice. Ok, my friends, we're going to check the attendance and here we go. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Blanca Ruth Orantes Caldames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamlet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Presentito. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. <coughs> Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Presentito. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present. Ok. Very good, my friends. We are going to start the class. Eh, nos habíamos quedado a la mitad del reading. O sea, el reading ya lo hicimos, pero nos faltan las actividades. Entonces, vamos a iniciar ya con las actividades. These are, okay. This is the reading. Lo voy a volver a leer, pues, para que cuando, para refrescar la memoria, podamos hacer los, las actividades que tenemos. So, it says uh, at 9.30 a.m., open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. 9.40 a.m., walk around kitchen, check temperatures in all coolers and freezers. 9.50 a.m., create schedule for service and buzzers with chores that need to be done in their shift individually. 10 a.m., servers can start to clock in. 10.10 a.m., turn on all the lights and sound system. 10.30 a.m., everyone clocks out and have quick lunch. Around, along with employers, and we talk about what their scheduled chores for today. 10.50, everyone clocks back in and start working again. 10.55 a.m., open the front door and turn on the open sign. 11 a.m., go to the kitchen and check temperatures of ready-to-eat foods and get samples to taste. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., Greet uh, guests, run register, maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. 2 p.m. clock out and go home. System manager stays in charge. 4 p.m. clock in, break is over. 4 or 5, check food temperatures again as well as coolers and freezer steps. 
4 10 p.m. Make schedule for second shift, servers and buzzers. Kitchen head cook handles his team. 4 30 p.m. Second shift staff start to clocking. Uh, 5 to 9 p.m. Greet guests, talk to people, etc. Don't have to run the register in the evenings. Have a part time cashier in the clock from 5 to 9. That way, I focus on more important things. 9.30 p.m., we start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. 10 p.m., turn the open sign off and lock the front door. 10.10 10 p.m., enter credit card tips into the CC processor. Esto es lo que leímos ayer. So we're going to check the exercise, okay? Number one says, eh, lo que tenemos que hacer acá, según la de arriba, que dice, read the following scales of rest of money and write the time for each event. Vamos a escribir la hora de cada evento. So, check temperatures in kitchen. Aha, uh -huh, what time is it? Nine forty. At nine forty, very good. And nine fifty. I'm sorry, nine forty. No. Sorry. And 11. And 11 again. And 11. That's the best. Yes. Very good. So 9.40 and 11 a.m. Number two, turn on the light and sound system. What time is that? 10.10 a.m. 10.10 a.m. At 10.10 a.m. Very good. Number three, make the schedule for the second shift. And I think 10. 9 15. 9 15. Schedule for 4 10 p.m. No. 4 10 p.m. Very good. May scale for second shift. 4 10 p.m. And number four, open the back kitchen door. Nine thirty. Nine thirty a.m. PM. Good. Uh, number five. Do inside work. Yo creo que aquí no es inside work, sino que es do side work. Porque inside no decía ninguna parte. So do side work. Nine thirty p.m. 9.30 p.m. Very good. And the last one, turn on the open sign. Turn on the open sign. 10.15 a.m. At 10.10 a.m. 10.10, right? 10. Let me check. Mm. No. 10, 5, 10, 5. 5. Very good. It's at 1055. Is this one right? Open from door and turn on the open sign. 1055. Very good. Nice. And we have another one here. Complete the sentences with a simple present form of the verbs in parentheses. Okay. Le voy a dar un par de minutitos para que lo puedan ver y hacer. Ahí está el verbo en paréntesis y le damos la toda la oración y luego le ponemos el verbo. Le voy a dar unos tres minutos.
Okay, do we finish? Yes. Very good, let's check together. Number one, Jeff. Works. Works, con ese nice. Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number two, Jane and Pete. Clean. Clean, no es, very good. Clean the tables every day. Number three, Mark. Do not take. Doesn't take. take. Doesn't, doesn't take. Take, very good. Doesn't take orders on Wednesdays. Porque Mark es tercera persona. Entonces sería doesn't. Number four, a restaurant. Open. 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 Ese sería opens con S, opens, porque es el restaurante, ¿verdad? Nuestro restaurante, tercera persona. So, ah, ok. Yeah, our restaurant opens from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Number five, our boss. Oh, Spence. Spence. Spence, very good. Spence con S, much time in the restaurant. Number six, we don't close. don't close. Don't close on Sundays. Very good. We don't close on Sundays. Number seven, they expect to save our friends to speak. Very good. They expect to have more clients this week. Very good. Questions? Alguna pregunta o duda en el ejercicio? No. Okay, now we're going to do the uh, exercise two. Este es así como los que salen en la, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? De, this, the right sentence is using the words in parentheses. Entonces hay que hacer las oraciones con, los, con las palabras que están ahí en los parentheses. Les voy a dar, aquí sí les voy a dar un poco más de tiempo porque sí hay que pensar un poquito más. Entonces vamos a hacerla y luego vamos a discutirlas. Las vamos a ordenar, teacher. Eso es verdad. Hay que hacer oraciones. Quiere decir de que puede ser que me falten ahí cosas, ¿verdad? Ah, Pero o sea. Que... agregar algún artículo. Exacto. Pero ahí, no, por ejemplo, no llevan sujeto, ¿verdad? Hay Ajá. algunos que llevan, llevan una cosa, otra cosa. Hay que ponerles ahí algo para que tenga sentido. Como en la 1, que falta el artículo, ¿verdad? Ah, puede ser eso. O sea, hay que ver qué le falta. Lo que sí está es el verbo. Está un adverbio de frecuencia y luego hay un nombre, ¿verdad? Pero ahí le falta, por ejemplo, le falta un sujeto, ¿verdad? I, you, he, she, no hay nada de eso. Entonces hay que identificar lo que le falta y hay que poner. Está difícil, teacher, está difícil. No, está bien fácil, le va a ver que bien fácil. Vale, se las dejo entonces, pensemos, escribamos y luego le vamos a revisar together.
Ok, terminamos. Did we finish? Yes, teacher. Ok, a ver, ¿quién quiere decir el número uno? Number one. Teacher. Ok. Number one. I always pick up the tables. Ok, I always pick up the tables. Nice. Number two. Uh, the restaurant seldom change the menu. The restaurant change, uh, yeah, seldom change the menu. Very good. Any other? Number three. My company rarely hear new employees. 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 Sí, sería uh, my company rarely hire. La pronunciación sería hire. No. Rarely hire. New, new employees. employees. Mm -hmm. What about number four? The supermarket sometimes early close. Ahí sería sometimes close early. Uh, sometimes close oh. early. Very good. Okay. Number five. Number five. They har hardly ever give away, no, I want the promotional items. Okay, they hardly ever give away promotional items. And... Items. Uh -huh. Six. The gym never close on Mondays. Ok, very good. The gym never close on Mondays. Nice. You know, que está bien fácil. That, that. Very easy. Good. Any questions before we continue? Preguntas? It's great. Ok. So, today we are talking about human resources vocabulary. Vamos a repetir acá. Everybody, please repeat. <laughs> Human resource management. Human resource management is the practice of recruiting. In the practice, the practice, the practice of, of recruiting. Hiring. 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 Deploying. 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 And managing our organization's employees. In managing HRM is often referred to simply as human resources. To simply as human resources. HR. 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 A company or organization's HR department. A company, a company or organization's HR department, HR department is usually responsible for creating. Is usually responsible for creating. Putting into effect. Putting, putting into, effect, into effect. And overseeing policies. And overseeing policies. Governing workers. Governing workers. workers. And the relationship of the organization with its employees. And the relationship of the organization with its employees. The term human resources. The term human resources was first used in the early 1900s. Was first used in the early 1900s. The early 1900s. And then more widely. And then more, and then more widely. In the 1960s. In the 1960s. To describe the people who work for the organization in aggregate. Do the script. 
alguna pregunta de pronunciación, como es lectura, ¿verdad? Primero vamos a ver pronunciación y luego vamos a ver vocabulario. Por ahorita, pronunciación. ¿Any question with pronunciation? Simple. Which one? Simple. Oh, simple. Simply. Es simple. Simple. La pronunciación de 1900. Ah, vaya. Vale. Esa se dice 1900. 1900. 1900. 1960. 1916. 1916. Teacher, ¿y esa S que lleva al final no se pronuncia o lo se pone? Claro que sí, por eso dice 1960s. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Teacher, recruiting. 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 Overseeing. 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 Teacher, HRM. No escucho muy bien cuando lo eso solo son letras, H, R, M. No les las letras en inglés. ¿Any other? Guidelli. Uh, ¿En qué línea está esa? No sé. En la penúltima. More Guidelli in the. Okay. Widely. 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 Good. Any other? Okay. Vamos a ver el segundo. Solo, solo son dos mm -hmm. slides. Ok, vamos a ver el siguiente. Vamos a repetir siempre. Everybody, please. The role of HRM. The role, the role of, of HRM. HRM. Practices are to manage. Practices, practices are to manage. The people within a workplace. The, the, the people, people within a workplace. workplace. To achieve the organization's mission. To achieve the organization and reinforce the culture. And reinforce the culture. When done effectively, when done effectively, HR managers can help. HR managers can help recruit new professionals. Professionals who have skills necessary who have skills necessary to further the company's goals to further the company's goals as well as aid with the training and development as well as development. 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 De, de, develop. de, 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 development. 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 Of current employees to meet objectives. Of current, of current employees, employees to meet, to meet objectives. objectives. A company is only as good as its employees. A company is making HRM making a crucial part of maintaining a crucial part of maintaining or improving the health of the business or improving the health of the business. Or the business. Additionally, 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 HR managers can monitor the state 
You can monitor this type of the job market to help the organization of the job market organization stay competitive. Stay competitive. This school include making sure this include making sure. Compensation and benefits are fair. Compensation, Compensation and benefits are, are fair. fair. Events are planned to keep employees. Events are planned to keep employees from burning out in job roles. From burning, from burning out, burning out, out and job roles. roles are adapted based on the market. Ahí está bien claro, ¿verdad? Ahí se entiende todo. <ríe> Yo sé que hay muchas palabras nuevas, pero lo vamos a ir viendo, ¿ok? Uh, pronunciation questions ahorita. Only de lo plement, ¿sí? 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 Development. Va, solo así como está ahí, development, ¿vea? Igualito como está ahí. Development. Ahí, a esas cabalitas, development. Development. Mm -hmm. Development. Any other? Uh, reinforce. 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 Any other? Planning. Events are planning. Planning. Eh, ¿Dónde está esa? A ver. Penúltima. Even are planning to keep employees. Plan. Planning. Plan. Plan. Okay. Any other? Pensé que me iban a preguntar por esta. Vamos. Pero dulce. Achieve. Dulce me gusta. A él le gusta. Si quiero probarlo porque no lo probé. Achieve. Esa es sí, achieve. Pero, pero. Teacher, okay. en ese mismo párrafo, eh, usted lo dijo, pero no se me quedó. Mm. Eh, debe, en, el ulti, en la última línea, development. 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 Se pronuncia la P. Development. 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 Ok, sí. development. 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 Ok. Development. Ok. Ahora vamos a leer. Ok. La primer, aquí son tres párrafos, entonces el primero va a leer este, el segundo va a leer el segundo y el tercero va a leer el tercero. Y así nos vamos a ir intercambiando. ¿Ok? Ok, Álvaro Ernesto okay. Sí, me dice que quiere ser el primero, así es que vamos a empezar con Álvaro. Ok. Sí. Ok. Human Resource Management HRM is the practice of the recruiting Hiring, deploying, and, and managing an organization, employees. H HRM is often uh, referred to simply, simply as simply. human resource. HR, a company or organization. HR department is department. usually usually responsible for creating, putting into effect, and overseeing police governing workers. 
and the relation relationship of the organization with its employees. The term human resource, what fears use what what fear use in the early uh, and I think hundreds and then more widely in the the team sixteen to describe to to describe people who who work for the organization in a great in a great okay in a great very good, nice. Um, no, that's good. Sí, yo sé que hay palabras aquí que como estudias es inglés de negocio lleva palabras algo rebuscadas, pero pues es una práctica buena. So, el siguiente le toca a Blanca Ruth Orantes. Hey, teacher. The role of a HR in practice are the are to manage. Manage. Manage the people within a workplace to achieve the organization mission and in, in reinforce the culture when done effectively. 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 Are no HR managers can help recruit recruit no no professionals who have skills necessary to further the company's goals as well as aid with the training and development of current employees do to meet objectives. 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 Very good. El otro, el último, es para Josman Serranos. A company is only as good as its employees, making HRM a crucial part of my timing or improving the health of the business. Additionally, HR manager can monitor the stay of the job market to help the organization stay competitive. This call include making sure compens compensation and benefits are fair. Events are planned to keep employees from burning out and job roles are adapted based on the market. Very good, nice. A ver, el siguiente sería Salvador Bernal. Eh, no le escuchamos, fíjese. Ahora, ahora sí, good. Human Research, re, research Manager. HRM is the practice of recruiting, hiring, deploying, and hiring. managing an organization employees. HRM is often referred to simple as human re re resource. HR a company or organization HR de department is usually responsible for creating, putting into effect and overseeing policy governing worker and the rela relationship of the organization with its employees 
the term human resource was first used in the early 19, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. 1900s. 1900. And then more widely in the 1560. 1960s. Ni 1960. To describe the people who work for the organization in aggregate. Very good. Next one is going to be for Irving. The role of HRM practice are to manage the people within our workplace to achieve the organization mission and reinforce the culture. When done effectively, HR managers can help recruit new professionals who have skills necessary to further the company's goals, as well as aid with the training and development of corporate employees to meet objectives. Very good. Next one is uh, Jennifer Torres. Okay. A company is only as good as its employees, making HRM a crucial part of my time my time of improving the help of the business. Additional HR managers can monitor this state of the job market to help the organization stay competitive. This could include making sure compensation and benefits are fair. Events are planned to keep employees from burning out and job roles are adapted based on the market. Very good. Okay, iniciamos con Karen Sanchez. Human Research Manager HRM will be practice of recruiting, having the position in managing on organization employees. HRM is often referred to simply as human resource as a company or organization HR department is usually responsible for training, including in the Fed and overseeing police governing work and the relationship of the organization with its employees. The term human resource was used in the early 1900s and then more widely in the 1960s to describe the people who work for the organization in agrarity. Very good, very nice. Now the next one is for Edwin. Okay, teacher. A company is only as good as its employees, making HRM a crucial part of maintaining or improving the health of the business. Additionally, HR managers can monitor the state of the job market to help the organization stay competitive. This could include making sure compensation and benefits are paired, even are paying it to keep employees from burning, from burning out and job roles are updated based on the market. Very good, perfect. Next one is for Jocelyn Amaya. Empezamos con el otro siempre. Not possible for Jocelyn, okay? A ver, uh, Brenda de Villatoro. Human Resource Management HRM is the practice of 
recruiting, hiring, deploying, and managing, managing, man, ¿cómo se dice? Managing. Managing an organization, employees, HRM is often referred to sim simply as human resource, HR, a company or organization, HR department is usually responsive, responsible for creating, putting in effect and oversight policy governing workers on the rela um rela <laughs> se me trae la lengua hola relationship Le relationship uh, of the organization with its employees the their human resource was fear used in the early Nineteen um, hundreds. and then more only in the nineteen sixties. Uh, to describe the people who work for the organization in a great. Very good, perfect, nice. Now uh the next one is for Rolando. Okay. The, the start the role, right? Yeah, please. Okay. The role of HRM practice are manage, manage the people. Uh, sorry, how to pronounce that word? Within. Within. The people within the workplace to achieve the organization. Organization mi mi mission and reference the culture when done effectively hr manage, manager can help recruit new professionals who have skills necessary to the to the future to the fruit sorry that word i can further further the company goals as well as aid with the training and development of recurrent employees to meet objectives. Okay, very good, perfect. Next one is for Carlos Dominguez. A company is only as good as its employees, making HRM a crucial part of maintaining or improving the health of the business. Additionally, HR managers can monitor the state of the job market to help the organization stay competitive. This call includes making sure compassion and benefits are fire events are planning to keep employees from burning of out and job roles are a day based on the market. Okay, very good. Next one is going to be for Rosa El Carmen. Management is a practice of recruiting, hearing, deploying, and then Managing and organization employees. HRM is often referred to simply as human resource as a, a company or organization. Our HR department is usually responsible for creating, pouring into effect, and overseeing policies. Governing workers 
and the relationship of the organization with its employees. The term human resource was first used in the early 1900 and then more. Creo que se le cayó. Ok. Anyways. Le va a tocar entonces a Marlon, creo que no puede, ¿verdad? Carlos Arias. El primero. Uh, the rule. Yeah, the rule. Okay. The rule of HRM practice are to manage the people within a workplace to uh, archivate the organization's mission and reinforcing the culture when done effectively. HR managers can help the TV in professional who have skills necessary to do their the company goes as well as uh, with the training and development of uh, current employees the next Very good, nice. Okay, the other one is going to be for Fatima Noemi. A company is only as good as its employees making each RM a crucial part of maintaining or improving the health of the business. Additionally, each R manager can monitor the state of the job market to help the organization stay competitive. This could include making sure compensation and benefits are fair. Even our planning to keep employees from burning out and job roles are adapted based on the market. Very good, nice. Okay, the first one is going to be for Daniel Garcia. Hello, Daniel. Not possible, okay. Can you jam it? Okay, teacher. Human resource manager, management is the practice of deploying and managing an open to see as human resource. A company or organization's HR department is usually responsible of creating, putting into effect, and overseeing policies for workers and the relationship of the organization with its employees. The term human resource was first used in the early 19th and the more. Okay, perfect. So uh, the next one, let's see. Gabriela Sanchez, is possible for you? Ok. Rosa del Carmen creo que ya pasó, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Que no puedo saber por qué. No sé por qué me sacó justamente cuando iba a terminar el diálogo. Pero rápido okay. me volví a meter. No sé claro, qué problema. le pasa. Sí, el internet a veces cambia, ¿verdad? Pasa ahí esas cosas. ¿Alguien más falta? Creo que nadie habla. Mi t-shirt. Okay, please go, Eulis. Okay. 
the role of HRM practices are to manage the people uh, within a workplace to achieve the organization mission and reinforce and the culture. When done effectively, HR managers can help recruit new new professionals who have the skills necessary to further the company's goals as well as aid, aid with the training and development of current employees to meet an ob objective. Objectives. Very good. Objectives. Okay, nice. Bueno, antes de ver el vocabulario y ver algunas cosas de pronunciación, vamos a chequear the attendance, okay? So, let's see. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Yeah, here, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present, teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present, teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present, teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present, teacher. Very good. And uh, Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Gabriela Yamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Karen Lizette Sánchez Castro. Here, teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Okay. Present. Okay, very good. Perfect. Okay. So, now we're going to check... <clears throat> Uh, we're going to continue checking about this. Yo sé que hay muchas palabras nuevas, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, Gabriela, la tengo, la tengo. Quizás el internet se fue, pero sí le pregunté. Ok. Yeah, aquí está. Hay mucho vocabulario nuevo acá. Yo sé que de repente pues, puede ser un poco overwhelming, ¿verdad? Hay palabras nuevas que la pronunciación... O hay palabras que se ven bien raras porque son muy, no sé, largas o algo por el estilo, pero es bien fácil. Este ya es inglés de trabajo, ¿verdad? Ya no es como hello, how are you, ¿verdad? Sino que es un inglés bien profesional. Vamos a ver algunos errores que cometieron algunos compañeros para recordar la pronunciación, ¿ok? Resource. La fuerza mayor aquí va al principio. Resource. Human resource. Recordemos que esta es management. Recruiting, hiring, deploying, let's see, simply. La, esta es importante, miren, porque no es responsable. No le vayamos a poner una A, a después de la S a esa palabra porque no es así en inglés. Es responsible con I. It's very, very important. Responsible. ¿Ok? Esta estuvo bastante bien. Overseen. Policies. Relationship. 
Esta también, la mayoría la dijo muy bien. 1900s. Widely. 1960s. En el siguiente veamos. Achieve. Rainforce. Let's see any other. Crucial. Creo que en pronunciación es lo único. Ahora vamos a ver si vocabulary. Entonces, human resource management se refiere a el manejo, la administración de los recursos humanos. ¿Ok? Entonces, is the practice of recruiting, que por supuesto es reclutar, ¿verdad? Recruiting es reclutar. Hiring, contratar. ¿Ok? Deploying es como llevar a cabo, como tenés un nuevo proyecto y cómo lo vas a estar lanzando, llevándolo a cabo. Eso es deploying. Eh, an organization's employees uh, referred simply as human resources. Simple es simplemente. Entonces, que se refiere frecuentemente, sea la misma verdad, como recursos humanos, HR, ¿verdad? Esta también hay que tener cuidado, compañeros. No es department. Vea que no lleva A después de la T. Department. Importante eso. ¿verdad? No vamos a decir department. Eso no existe en inglés. Es department. ¿Ok? Es el departamento que usualmente es responsable, que ya vimos que va con I, por crear, poner en efecto y estar revisando las políticas. Esto es revisar, estar dándole seguimiento. Y esto, policies, es políticas, como cuando usted tiene una política de la empresa y le tiene que seguir, ¿verdad? Tiene que hacer lo que la política dice. Entonces, policy o policies, políticas que gobiernan a los trabajadores y la relación de la organización con sus, véase que no lleva a post, por eso esto es, esto es posesivo, ¿verdad? Y con sus empleados. Luego dice que el término recursos humanos fue primero usado en la primera parte o a principios de 1900. Para con esta, con los números, eh, lo más usual es decir 1900 aquí. Podríamos haber dicho también 1900 con S, ¿verdad? En inglés se puede decir 1900. Nosotros en español lo podemos decir. Pues en inglés sí, podemos decir 1900, que sería lo que yo les dije que dijeran, 1900. O sea que este se puede decir también 1960s, se puede decir así también. Pero eh, se ocupa más que todo con números redondos como este, 1900. ¿Ok? Y luego dice, and then, más abiertamente o más, 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 ¿verdad? En los 60s para describir la gente que trabaja para la organización en agregado. ¿Alguna otra pregunta o duda acá con vocabulario? ¿Alguna palabra en pronunciación? Antes de pasar al siguiente. Solo una, una palabra, Ticia. Ajá, Josman. Eh, la el significado que dijo de overseeing. La overseeing es como darle seguimiento, estar chequeando constantemente, estar revisando. Ok, gracias, teacher. Good. Any other? No there. Veamos la otra parte. Y que dice el rol... De, y mucho, pues en inglés se va a ocupar esto mucho, ¿verdad? De el, la gerencia de recursos humanos es eh, practicar, practica, dice, en manejar la gente. Within es una preposición, entre, entre 
pero no como between. O sea, between, que creo que ya la vieron, es entre dos cosas. Within es entre, pero varias. Entre 25. Como cuando ustedes están en medio de, de la gente en un concierto. Ese es within. Between es entre dos nada más. Entonces en inglés tenemos diferente, diferente palabra para eso. En español no, ¿verdad? En español entre, entre la gente, entre dos cosas, personas, no importa. Pues sí en inglés. Within es, sería, sería en el, aquí lo vamos a traducir como en el lugar de trabajo, workplace. To achieve, ¿quién sabe qué es achieve? Ah, el perrito me dijo ahí. Achieve es lograr, ¿verdad? Para lograr la misión de la organización, recordemos que esta, este apóstrofe con la S, ese es posesivo. Y reforzar la cultura, reinforzar, reforzar la cultura. Cuando se hace, este pasado participio de hacer, que todavía no hemos llegado a eso, ¿verdad? Cuando se hace efectivamente, los gerentes de recursos humanos pueden ayudar a reclutar nuevos profesionales que tienen que eran skills, ¿se acuerda que eran skills? Habilidades. Habilidades. Very good. Que tienen las habilidades necesarias para alcanzar las metas, goals, las metas de la compañía. ¿Ok? Esto es bien común también en inglés, as well as, ahí dice, así como, ¿verdad? Así como apuntar, ¿verdad? Uh, ayudar, ayudar con el entrenamiento y el desarrollo, development, desarrollo. Uh, current, ¿qué sería current? ¿Alguien? <risa> Sorry. Development. ¿Alguien sabe qué es current? Nadie. Actual, ¿verdad? Muchas uh, personas a veces cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés confundimos actually con actual, pero no. Actual es current. Con los empleados actuales para alcanzar sus objetivos. Aquí meet no es de nice to meet, sino que de alcanzar. Y luego dice, una compañía es solo tan buena como sus empleados. Only, solo. Haciendo HRM una parte crucial del mantenimiento o la mejora. Improving es mejorar. Okay. O la mejora de la salud del negocio. Adicionalmente, los gerentes de HR pueden monitorear el estado del... Este sería como el mercado laboral al mercado de trabajo para ayudar a la organización a mantenerse competitivo esto podría se acuerdan que ya vimos cool verdad esto podría incluir um, para hacer asegurarse que las compensaciones y los beneficios son justos fair ¿verdad? como hay en el fútbol los que están viendo el mundial verdad fair play dice juego justo sin andar dando patadas ni nada, ¿verdad? So, fair, que sean justos. Que los eventos sean planificados para mantener a los empleados de este burning out. Es una, una frase en inglés que se refiere como cuando usted está exhausto. Uno dice también, estoy quemado, ¿verdad? Ya no puedo. Ya hasta aquí llego. Entonces, eh, la planificación para mantener a los empleados que no se quemen, ¿verdad? Que no se sientan así ex exhaustos. Y que los roles de los empleados sean adaptados, basados a ese mercado. Eso es todo lo que hablamos aquí en estos pequeños dos párrafos. ¿verdad? Mucho vocabulario. Este es inglés ya profesional, inglés laboral. ¿Verdad? Recordemos que eh, es bien importante ir... Eh, obteniendo, o sea, no vamos a hablar solo inglés informal, ¿verdad? Inglés como qué tal, cómo está usted y cuál es su película favorita. Tenemos que ir metiendo también vocabulario un poco más profesional, dependiendo. Yo sé que muchos tienen objetivos diferentes por los cuales están learning English, 
muchos quieren otro puesto de trabajo, quieren irse a otra compañía. So we need to include, we need to include this kind of English into our vocabulary. Espero que todo el vocabulario, pues, tal vez no todo, pero la mayoría lo hayan entendido y lo empiecen a utilizar. Do you have any questions? Any other questions? Yes, I have a question. Ajá, Álvaro. Maitining, ¿cómo se pronuncia y qué significa? Dije, no me recuerdo. ¿Cuál, perdón? Es en el tercer párrafo, segunda línea. Es HR, crucial, part of maintaining. Maintaining, para mantener. Mantener. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other question? Sí, teacher. Burning out no me quedó muy claro el significado. Sí, burning out es un phrasal verb que se refiere como, ah, imagínense que usted está trabajando todos los días desde las 6 de la mañana hasta la 1 de la mañana, casi no sale almuerzo y se quema. De ese, ese quemado se refiere a que está exhausto, ya no puede trabajar. Okay. Oh, Gracias. Okay. Any other question? The word that future is not very clear for me. ¿Por dónde está esa? No sé cuál es. Uh, la cuarta línea del primer párrafo. Further. Así uh, yes. es que esa no la dije así nada más porque no tiene sentido que se le digo. Further es como más allá, llegar más lejos. Ah, ok. Pero si se la traducía así, no, no pega en el párrafo. Porque recordemos que cuando traducimos al español, y por eso les recomiendo que no lo hagan, ¿verdad? Aquí lo hacemos porque quería que entendieran esto. No lo hacemos porque no pega. Pues si lo voy traduciendo palabra por palabra, sería una locura, ¿verdad? Entonces nosotros adaptamos, como yo lo diría el español. Ah, o sea que ese sería como un auxiliar para esa palabra, para decir el. el, el para no. decir la frase completa. Lo que pasa es de que, mire, aquí dice, los gerentes de eh, recursos humanos pueden ayudar a reclutar a los profesionales que tengan los, las habilidades necesarias para lograr las metas de la compañía. Eso quiere decir todo, pero en ninguna parte dice más allá. Lo que pasa es que el inglés, las palabras se utilizan de muchas maneras y yo la adapto de una manera diferente. Pero si yo solo traduzco esa palabra, eso es más allá, más lejos que ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo otra palabra, cómo podría usar esa palabra en otra frase? Ah, lo puede usar de muchas maneras. Por ejemplo, let's go farther this time. Imagínense que usted anda de, eh, nos vamos de campamento a, a graduarnos de este, de este año. ¿verdad? Les decimos, hey, nos vamos a ir para allá, para la montaña. Y vamos a caminar a las 11 de la mañana y de repente nos regresamos. Y a las 3 de la tarde decimos, let's go farther this time. Si yo digo, let's go farther this time, quiero decir, vayamos a caminar, pero vayamos más lejos esta vez. Ahí se ocupa farther. Ah, oh, I got it. Okay. Thank you. Good. Any other question? No more questions. Ok, esto no está dentro del programa, pero a mí me gusta traer cosas así bien. Different, ¿verdad? So we're going to go with the book, my friends. It says unit three. Nice. Each are procedures. ¿Qué es procedures, my friends? Puede ser como procedimientos. Procedimientos. Very good. So each are procedures. Okay. In the unit three, I will be able to identify specific information of the human resources, staff, organization, and their responsibilities, vean otra vez, responsibilities within the department. Ya les estoy diciendo, no me van a estar diciendo department, ¿verdad? Porque eso es español. Department. Y el otro es responsibilities, responsibilities. Eso es muy importante. Okay. Identificar información específica acerca de los recursos humanos, la organización de staff y sus responsabilidades con ese departamento. Y hay una pregunta aquí en number one. 
What do you know about the HR department in your company? Uh -huh. What do you know about your HR department in your company? Anybody? They help the employees with uh, permissions in the company. Okay, permissions, very good. They take the control of that one. Any other? Responsibility that pays the employees. I'm sorry, I can listen. Responsibility that pay the pay the the employees. Yeah, they are responsible for all the employees. Very good. Por ejemplo, ahorita la hora del aguinaldo, la que ya va a caer. Ahí están los de HR calculating. ¿Cuánto tiene trabajar? Vamos a ver cuánto le vamos a dar, verdad? Uh, para los bonos, para los pagos. There are many things that they do. They do, depending on the company, many things. So I know that in companies, sometimes it's different from company to company. Okay, so we're going to check number two. Mr. Chang is looking for two employees at RC company. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with partner. As usual, I say and you repeat. Everybody, please repeat. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Excuse me, I am looking, I am looking for, for Miss Chavez. Chavez. I am looking for Mr. Chavez. I says Miss Chavez. Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruit sure. coordinator. Sure. sure. See, yeah. the I see. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support. Basically, for the team of recruiters. For the team of I understand. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. Yes, yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? Where can I reach him? Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. He returns at one o'clock. One o'clock. Okay. Pronunciation questions. Teacher re recruitment. Recruitment. Cabalito como. Recruitment. Recruitment. Okay. Responsibilities. 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 No, responsibilities. Responsibilities. Any other pronunciation question? Uh, from the team of recruiting, or como se dice la palabra? For the team of recruiters. Recruit. Recruiters. Recruit. Okay, any other question on pronunciation? No more questions. Okay, now we are going to practice then. Okay, vamos a la competición como hacemos siempre. 
Um, Álvaro Ernesto en Eulice Torres. Ok. Ok. Eh, Mr. Chen. Me. Uh, you o en I? I am Mr. Chen. Ok. You continue. Ok. Excuse me. I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the requirement coordinator. I don't know. Coordinator? Yes. <laughs> I see. And who Thank you me. tell me about her responsibility? Responsibilities. Responsibility. Responsibilities. Responsibly. Basically, she provides requiring administrative 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 support from the team of recruiters. Recruiters. I understand. And that's Mr. Salgado for her. What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent magnanimous consultant. Management. Where can I reach him? He returns at um, one o'clock. Very good, nice. Now, Blanca Ruth and Irving Isai. Okay. I am Dorian. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Could you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. Oh, I see. Uh, could you tell me about her responsibilities? Bicycle. Cali. She provides. Provide. Recruit, provide recruiting administration and uh, no administrative support for the team of recruit recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management management. Management. Consultant. And where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. Okay, very good. Now Jennifer and Salvador Bernal. Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is a Recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she's provide recruiting administrative support for, for the team of recruiter. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What's does does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent managing consultant. Where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. Very good, nice. Uh, Gabriela, is it possible for you? Creo que no. Yes, teacher. Okay. Entonces, Gabriela con Karen Jamilet. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And uh, could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. 
I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, very good. Now, Karen Sanchez and Edwin Antonio. Hello, Karen. ¿Se puede? ¿No se puede? Karen Sánchez. Creo que no puede. Eh, Jocelyn, ¿puede usted? Yes. A ver, entonces Edwin and Jocelyn. Okay. Excuse me. I'm looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruited. I understand. And does Mr. Salgados work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management cons consultant. Management. Management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, very good. Now, let's see Josman and Brenda de Villatoro. Excuse me, I am looking. Oh. Excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me which is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see uncle you tell you tell me about her responsibility basically she she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of the recruiter I understand that. and does and does Mr Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado is a talent management consultant. He returns at one o'clock. No, to come where can I reach him? Hola. Where can I reach him? Oh, Jesus. Where can I do it? Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, very good. Nice. Now we're going to listen to Rolando and Carlos Dominguez. Okay. Excuse me. I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me? Who she is? Sure. She's recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting as administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent man management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Carlos Arias and Fatima Noemi.
Hello, Fatima. Is it possible for you? Okay, good. Eh, Quien quiere iniciar, está bien. Carlos puede iniciar. Okay, teacher. Excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? I see. Um, could you tell me about the responsibilities? Basically, she provides recurring administrative support for the team of the curers. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, very good. Perfect. Uh, Daniel Garcia, is possible for you? Okay, not possible. So let's check with. Creo que Rolando ya pasó. Rosa del Carmen. Falta alguien más, compañeros. Creo que solo ella, ¿verdad? Ok, le va a ayudar entonces Irving, Isaías, Rosa. Ok. ¿Comienza ahí? Yes, please. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss, Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about your responsibilities? Well, uh, basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado who work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, very good. Perfect. Eh, hay que tener cuidado con un par de palabras. Por ejemplo, esta, Miss, ¿verdad? Esta es bien delicada porque si le decimos Miss a un señor se va a enojar, ¿verdad? Y también al contrario, si le decimos Mister a una señora, not good. Miss, señorita Chávez, ¿verdad? Eh, ahí le cambiamos todo el mundo. Eh, let's see. Recruitment. Sí, la María lo dijo bien. Uh, responsibilities. Recordemos que es con I, no con A. Responsibilities. Uh, basically. This is basically. Basically. Um, let's see. Management. 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 Okay, y de vocabulary, quería que me mucho. Sure, que okay, sure. Seguro, no, seguro, por supuesto. She is the recruitment coordinator, que sería, ella es la coordinadora de reclutamiento. Dice. Uh, responsibility, she provides. ¿Qué era provides? Ajá. Proveer. Proveer, very good. Um, talent Management Consultant vendría siendo como el consultor de talent, de manejo de talento, algo así, ¿verdad? Where can I reach him? ¿Qué es aquí reach? Dice que sí, la palabra, solo la palabra es reach, alcanzar. En este caso, si yo la traduzco, que es lo mismo que yo les vengo diciendo, el español al inglés, ¿verdad? Ya no diría yo dónde lo puedo alcanzar, sino dónde lo puedo contactar. Así diríamos nosotros aquí. So, where can I reach? Él quiere contactarle, hablar con él. 
y no se va a poder porque regresa hasta la una, ¿verdad? So, no good. Okay, do you have questions in the conversation? No questions. Good. Let's make the exercise. Who is Miss Chavez? Uh huh. Who is Miss Chavez? She's the recruitment coordinator. Very good. She is the recruitment coordinator. Number two. What do you think Mr. Chang does? What do you think Mr. Chang does? Very good. He is the receptionist. Very nice. Okay. Okay. We are not going to check into that one yet. Nice. Very good. Bueno, ahora tenemos tiempo de hacer algunas prácticas individuales. Let's see how it goes. Porque a veces no tenemos chance, pero ahora sí. Vamos a platicar con Jennifer Torres. Salió, mire, el se ganó la canasta navideña. <risa> <risa> Vamos entonces a platicar, o sea normal, ¿verdad? Hello. Okay. Hello. How are you? I am good. Very good. And uh, where do you live? I live in Sonsacate. Sonsacate, very good. And what do you do? Sonsacate. Ah, okay. And what do you do? Sorry, teacher. Uh, what do you no do? Entiende. ¿Qué hago? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Creo que está agarró el, el comodín de la llamada, dije. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, cómo? No, 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 no. What do you do? Uh, I am English class. Vaya, fíjese que ahí hay una situación. Uh -huh. No le estoy preguntando uh -huh. qué está haciendo, porque eso es what are you doing. Uh -huh. Cuando alguien le pregunta what do you do, para todo, ¿verdad? Le está preguntando y usted a qué se dedica. ¿Qué hace? Ah, uh, ok. Uh -huh. I am um, work. But what? what I do am you? working. Uh -huh. What do you In do? In a restaurant. In a restaurant. Very good. Nice. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, do you have siblings? Mm, I don't know. No. no sé qué. Ah, okay. Siblings. ¿Alguien sabe qué es siblings, compañeros? Hermanos. Hermanos y hermanas revuelto ahí, ¿verdad? Ahí es uh -huh. todo junto. Yes, ver. I have. Ah, okay. How many brothers or sisters do you have? Uh, two brothers. Two brothers, okay. Yes. Are you the baby or are you the oldest? Yes, I have a baby in two years. Okay, very good. That's good. Okay, what does your older brother do? Mm. No, I, I... No entiendo, puede decir repeat. Uh, me pregunta cuántos años tiene el hermano mayor. Ah, está traduciendo. No, what does your oldest brother do? Sorry, teacher, no, no comprendo. I don't speak Spanish, sorry. No Spanish here. <laughs> no, me <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué hace él? Lo mismo le pregunté que, que ah, la dice que si le digo uh -huh. do you do? Oiga, do you do? Y ahí uh -huh. le pregunté, what does he do? Uh -huh. Lo mismo. A ver, so what does he do? What does your oldest brother do? Uh, my brother is study. Ah, he studies. Very good. Uh -huh. Where? Where does uh -huh. he study? 
at Universidad de Sonsonate. What career does he study? Mm, licenciatura en Ciencias Jurídicas. So he will be a lawyer. Very nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which year does he study now? Last year. Last year. Last year. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Blanca. Jennifer, see you. Okay. See you. Ya, yeah, fácil. ¿verdad? Vamos a ver ahora. Segundo ganador. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Josman Serrano. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Nice. And uh, where do you live? I live in Sonsonate City. Sonsonate, near the beach? Um... Yes, yes, I near I near uh, uh, at 20 minutes at uh, the beach. Okay, that is very good. Ya vimos dónde vamos a hacer la salida del grupo. Nice. Nice. <laughs> the Cobanos Beach. Los Cobanos, a lot of rocks. Yes. Right? yes. Okay, and do you have brothers or sisters? I have uh, two sisters. Two sisters. Yes, I do. Uh, what do they do? Uh, this uh, one sister is a uh, uh, Marriott, and other sister is in life, living in the USA. Ah, okay, very good. So you receive a lot of dollars for Christmas. Mm, um, rarely, <laughs> very <laughs> occasionally. Okay. On my birthday, for example. <laughs> ah, okay, on the birthday is good. Nice. Yeah. How often do you speak with your sister in the U.S.? Uh, a little, little practice the the speak English. Ah, you speak in English with her? Yes. Nice. That is very good. Keep on practicing. Very nice. Yeah. And what does she do there in the U.S.? And to do a living in the Boston, Boston city. Mm -hmm. In Boston city, living my sister. And what does she do there in Boston? Um, she's a, a camera in the hotel and, and work and, and supermarket, uh, two, two works. Um, one in the camera in the hotel and other work in the uh, the supermarket. Okay. Yeah, it's very hard, right? Yeah. Here in El Salvador, also, I have two jobs, so that is very common now. Okay. And uh, what does the other sister do? Your other sister. Uh, okay. My other sister is uh, not working. Uh, he is staying in the house. Uh, housewife. No way. Exactly. Okay. She's a housewife. Very good. That is interesting. And do you have yes. any? Um, do they have children? Yes, I do. Uh, two two boys. Okay. How old is your older boy? Um, the first boys have a uh, twenty years old, and other boys have a uh, fifteen years old. Oh my goodness! They are very very tall right now, eh? Yes, I do. <laughs> very good. That's very nice. Perfect. Thank you, Josman. Thank you, teacher. See you. Nice. Very good. A ver. Ahora el tercero quiero que sea voluntario. ¿Quién quiere participar? Ask me, teacher. Ok, very good. Yo pensé que se iban a pelear ahí por el chance, pero creo okay, que no. Sin miedo, ¿verdad? Y si nos equivocamos, nos equivocamos. Yo les dije que mejor nos equivocamos aquí. Y no cuando andamos en Nueva York, ¿verdad? Preguntando, ya mire dónde queda. No, ¿verdad? Better here. Hello, Álvaro. Hello, teacher. How are you? 
Uh, fine. And you, I'm teacher? Very sick. I have COVID, you know? <laughs> you sick? I am very sick. Yeah. But I'm here. I'm happy, you know? <laughs> yeah, I have the fever. Uh, for me to teach the class, I have to sleep two hours and they go to the class. So I, I feel good. <laughs> and me is the... That my hands. Ah, okay. <laughs> little, little, little problem. Really? What happens? Um, stress. Only stress. Stress. Yeah, stress is not good. It's not good. You need to relax. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's good to relax, to watch TV. You can watch the World Cup, you know and relax that is the most important thing so it's very, it's very important to... oh, okay. um, <laughs> where do you live i live in santa ana real city oh i live in santa ana too very good real city san sebastian san Trillos, san juan dos the reina I, I know where is it i i I don't live there, but I know where it's it. I live, you know, um, right now I live in Santa Ana in the city, but I will in the future, I will be living in the new, uh, in the new uh, houses that they are building near the, uh, the traffic circle that goes to Chalchuapa. Do you know? There are, there is a new neighborhood there and, and I'm going to live there, but they are still building the houses. So, I cannot be there right now. I have to be somewhere else. <laughs> and do you have any brothers or sisters? I have uh, only brothers, two brothers. Okay. What does your oldest brother do? What does older brother? Oh. Uh... I I I older. Uh, you are the oldest, okay? Yes. yes. Okay. And the next the one, what does the next one do? Uh, one how um when I am uh four years four years uh el menor como dice el menor younger uh yo younger younger younger, younger have uh, um, twenty, uh, twenty, twenty-eight year. Okay. The the second. Mm -hmm. Well, I am first. Okay. Uh, the second twenty twenty twenty-eight year. The last how 30, 32 years. 32 years old. Okay, you are very close, very nice. I am uh, the older brothers. So you are the one who manages all the things there, the toys and all the things. Yes. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Alvaro. Thank you for the teacher. Ok, cuando tengamos chance vamos a estar haciendo estas prácticas. Aprovechen, ¿verdad? Qué oferta, aprovechen. No hay chance. Hay que meterse en las pláticas y si nos equivocamos, no importa. Pero nos ayuda, nos ayuda a, a perder el miedo. En primer lugar, no tengamos miedo de hablar. El inglés es de práctica. Si usted no practica, no va a aprender, aunque entienda, ¿verdad? Se puede entender todas las reglas maravillosas del inglés, pero si no habla. Nothing's gonna happen. Okay, we're going to check the attendance. Vamos a checar ahora ya el attendance porque ya es hora, ¿verdad? El 101 de ahora es para Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez. So let's see. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villatoro. Present teacher. Good. 
Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Here, teacher. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Here, teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope to see you tomorrow and have a good night. See ya. Good night, everyone. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, good night, good night, good night. See you tomorrow. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello.